every single week. Lydia uses her power of engineering to find things on digikey.com. Thanks, Digikey. Lady Ada, what is a great search this week? Okay, so this week, I'm going to get to it. Uh, we're doing a ultra slim micro SD card. So let's go to the computer so I can, I can show this thing again. Uh, so I want a micro SD card slot that is not wide like this, but is, because this is too wide to fit between these pads and it, it interferes. I need something that's less than um, 12 millimeters wide. Um, so let's go to the overhead and I'll show how, how wide these things are, too wide. Okay, so, um, so this is, uh, 14 millimeters wide, which is, like I said, way too wide. Now, you know, ironically on, on the Pico W or the Pico, you know, this would fit because I'm not using, these don't use SMT headers, use through hole headers, but on my accessories, I want to use SMT headers. And so like the pads come out to the side. Um, and so, you know, that one fit, and this like barely fits even here. Uh, so one thing I did think of was like, oh, you know, I looked at um, the Teensy, which I had one hanging around. And um, this one actually is like almost exactly 12 millimeters. So I knew that this was possible to find something that would fit uh, perfectly in between um, those pads. Uh, I just need to use um, need to use my my DigiKey search capabilities. So um, one thing to just note for is that this is not a push pull. What like what you what you get when you get that extra width is there's the spring here, and the spring is what lets you do the push push um, ability to you know you push it in, and then you know when you do this it like flies out and across the room. Um, and then this is uh, push and pull type. So, you know, there's trade-offs like that. You know, the Raspberry Pi computers also changed. They were push push, and then I think you know that was the, the spring can break. Um, it's not really meant for you know infinite insertion removals. Um, this one, you know, it's it's not as like elegant because you have to yank it, but uh, it's skinnier and and you don't have the spring that can break. So let's go to my computer. And uh, so we did um, actually cover the SD card holder in a previous great search. Um, you can see it here, like this is this part. Um, I use it everywhere and it's, it's wonderful and it's great, but again, it's, it's a little bit too wide. Um, so what I wanna do is I want to find an alternative, something that does very similar stuff. And you can see this lovely rendering. Uh, there's lots of these in stock, which is great, but I want something that's, again, a little skinnier. Um, and one thing to note is that the, the size is not documented. It's not a search searchable element, which happens sometimes, especially for some connectors. You don't get dimensions as a searchable thing. So what you have to do is just look at them and then check the data sheet and just read each one until you find the one. Or, you know, you do what I did. You find a board that has the part and you're like, okay, I know that this exists. I just need something that looks like that. So let's look for a uh, active uh, micro SD um, holder and let's view similar. Um, so already we got a couple options. So this is the hinge type. Um, these are very slim, but I don't, this is not a good board fix. I want people to be able to remove the card from the side. The, these hinge ones are really good when you have the SD card in the middle of your PCB. So you wanna be able to like flip it out, you know, remove it and you don't have to have an edge. Whereas the SD card, I'm, you know, the card holders I'm looking at, they need to be on the edge because you can, you, you know, there's nothing in the way you can pull the card out. So I do want to um, remove hinged lid. So I'm gonna select everything but hinged and then uh, apply that to get rid of like the 12 that don't have it. Um, okay, so now we've got a couple options. So, you know, the first one, um, first one we've got here is, is, you know, what I've got already. It's got the spring. This one, I've actually seen this before. I saw this on a, um, they're ultra, ultra tiny. And like, just like the ends go in, it's like, it's kind of weird. Um, one thing that is nice is it, it's high up above the board. And so a lot of people use this. Um, you can put it in the middle of the board because often it'll float above any like resistors or maybe slim capacitors or even a chip. And um, because it's not, the, the SD card doesn't go up against the PCB. It's actually kind of levitated. 
The only thing that's weird about this is um, I don't like that the SD is like it's really exposed because only the contacts are connected. So I've seen this board used, uh, sorry, this, this connector. It is by far like the most compact, you know, simplest SD card holder, but um, there's no mechanical strength to it in my opinion. Um, so the next one is um, we've got these Amphenol parts. So this one has a spring, so I think we can't use this one. This one looks like it's very similar to uh, this uh, lady. So let's look over here at the specs. Um, so this one, let's scroll down. We can see the dimensional spec. They don't. They don't have dimensional specifications. Why would they add that? This must be an incomplete data sheet. Okay, well, that's not very helpful. Let's try this one. Okay, this is much better. Um, so I love it when the data sheets are scans of, like, documents. So this one, uh, I think this is actually the same part that's on the Teensy um, because this is 11.95 millimeters, so it's, like, it's, again, very, very narrow. So this is like, you know, the one I think I'm going to go with. Um, however, there's a couple other possible options. Um, let's look at this one. Maybe this one has, yeah, this one has. Also, this is um, 11, you know, um, 0.95 millimeters. One thing I do like is it has a switch on it. Um, I like my SD card. Most, most SD card slots these days do have a switch. It lets you know that um, the card is inserted or removed. So before you perform any um, SD card communication, um, you can check to make sure that the card is in place so you don't end up hanging on like waiting for data to re uh, respond. Nothing, I don't think this really works, but like if you are writing data to an SD card, you can kind of detect right when it's about to be removed and like you might be able to flush the data really quickly, although I don't know how, how fast you can do that before the contacts um, lose connection. But these are all really good options. Uh, so let me just look for ones that are in stock. And then let me look for uh, pricing, you know, let me make sure the pricing at 5,000 pieces is good. So yeah, these are cheaper for sure. Um, and you can see even the, the thickness of the plastic at the bottom there that levitates it. Um, and there's a couple options of these super skinny ones. This one's very cheap. This one has that spring, so it's going to be too wide. Um, this is a flip top actually, which is, shouldn't have made it into the search, but it did. So the, the one that is the least expensive, it's basically a dollar at the 5,000 piece mark is this Amphenol. So this is what I'm going to probably go with. Um, it looks like, you know, the, the part on the TNC doesn't say Amphenol. So I think this is a generic layout component, probably Amphenol first came out with it. And then other people made, um, variations that are very similar. I'm going to try this. I think... Uh, this is a pretty standard part, so I should be able to get, you know, I don't like to get connectors that are only available for one supplier. So I'm going to first make sure that this pinout and pad, um, like the push-pull SD card, is available for multiple places. And then I'll try it out. But the good news is that, you know, once I lay out the pins, um, it'll work with all the code exactly the same because the contacts are exactly the same. So this is my my great search pick. That's a great search. Where in the world is